Hi there. Let me adjust my camera. I am doing a little Thursday studio check-in because I haven't done one in a little while. If you are just hopping on, say hi, tell me where you're watching from. Please ignore the, where is it, over here, airplanes and the mattress in the background. I am in my basement because we're still in quarantine, so I'm not working from my studio. Um, but I wanted to show you what I've been working on. So first thing that I'm really excited about is um, if you weren't at my live two weeks ago, I think it was, um, I released a collection that was all turquoise with mustard lace. And a lot of you really loved the um, blue moon turquoise, which I also totally loved. And uh, the pieces sold out really fast. And I talked to the woman who cuts the stones and I was able to get a few more. So that's the first thing I'm super excited about. Do you see, this is blue moon turquoise right here. It's really beautiful. The lighting's, let me see, turn on this other light. Hi, Tara. Um, maybe that's a little better. Lighting's a little bit clearer. Um, so this is blue moon turquoise. Hi, Margaret from Tucson. <laughs> um, and it's got this such a beautiful mustard in it. This is also blue moon, a little bit less mustard, more blue. But um, I just got these pieces. So if any of you want a custom piece, I know that I had four pieces of the blue moon turquoise um, on the live last time and they all sold right away. So if you want a custom piece with blue moon turqu turquoise, I have two pieces. The other pieces on here are beautiful, but they are not turquoise, they're varicite. Um, absolutely beautiful. They're all beautiful stones. So if you want to custom with anything, I know this is not super in focus, but um, just DM me or message me and I will send you a photo of these and I'd be happy to make, these would make, I mean, amazing um, pendants or even these two would make an amazing pair of earrings that are like slightly mismatched. Um, I like calling them sister stones, not just, um, you know, they're not pairs, they're sister stones. Um, so I'm really excited about these. I just got these in. Um, what else? I have been finishing up some um, custom orders. So also, if you were on the live last time, you will remember this ear jacket pair of flora hoops. Um, so if I cover the earring I'm wearing, I just finished hand dyeing these. So they're mustard. I call this flame lace. They're mustard with this beautiful kind of like orangey red on the edge. Um, and these are ear jackets. So what that means is, do you see this opening here? Um, they go around your ear like that with the opening. And then I'm trying to see where the, where are the studs for these? Here are the studs for these. So these little studs are this beautiful like turquoise with black um, lines through it, go right through the earring like that. So if I take the back off, I'm so excited about these. So they go right through the earring and they hold it on, which means, do you see how beautiful that turquoise is with the hand dyed lace? Um, oh, are these yours? Yep. Um, yeah, you just said, I don't, Dani, um, I don't know your Instagram handle. So if these are yours, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm shipping them tomorrow. Um, so they're hand dyed. And then you can wear this stud. Yay, that's awesome. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, I just finished them this morning. Um, you can wear the stud as just a stud on its own, or you add this, and then you have this great big statement earring that's really light. So I just finished those. Um, I'm so excited to send them to you. Yeah, they're really, really awesome. The turquoise with... Um, with that hand dyed color is just the best. Um, so because I was doing some hand dyed things, I made this other custom pair. These I haven't actually cut the string off. So this is what it looks like before I do, I crochet the lace and then if I'm gonna hand dye, I do a mordant which holds the dye in and then um, I actually do the painting. And for this particular um, coloring for the red and the yellow, it takes about two times of dyeing. So what I do is I, mordant it which holds the dye but then I have to let it dry and then I dye it once and then I let it dry and then I wash it because again there's going to be a little bit extra dye you want to get that out so that you don't get it all over your clothes when you get the piece but then I have to do it a second time because the red doesn't it doesn't have as much staying power as like the blue 
So I dye it twice. So it's that process of dyeing, letting it dry, washing, letting it dry again, dyeing again. So I just made these hoops as another custom order. Um, and I'm actually just gonna use the same stud in it as an example, but they are also an ear jacket. So they're gonna have a little stud like that in the front. So you wear it like that. You could wear the hoop on the front of your ear, just like that. You could wear it right behind your ear and then you put the post on, which means um, this is for my customer Sayori and she already has a pair of these studs. So what that means is I can make her any ear jacket like this um, and she can just switch them out whenever she wants. So I just finished that little hoop ear jacket. Um, she's in Japan, so those are going to Japan, which is exciting. And then these pieces were also, hi Megan, um, these pieces were also on the live. So this is actually one of the other Blue Moon turquoise pieces. It's got this beautiful yellow and kind of like seafoam green. And she wanted the piece hand dyed. It wasn't hand dyed before. So I did the same thing as the other process, mordanted the lace which holds the dye in. And then I did the dye process to get that lovely like sunset red, which with the stone is so beautiful. So I just finished that necklace. That's gonna go out tomorrow. And then this pair of earrings for the same person. This is like a little bit of a brighter blue turquoise, but she wanted hand dyed. So you can see now that it has this beautiful like sunset colorway on the bottom. So I just finished those. So that's what I was working on this week, finishing up all the hand dyed one of a kind pieces. Um, and then also just getting these other stones because honestly, I wish I could, I wish this was a little bit more in focus, but this particular stone, if you can see, it's got this, it's, it's like sea foam, but it has mustard yellow in it. The blue moon turquoise. It's phenomenal. I only discovered blue moon turquoise, like, I don't know, a month ago, a month and a half ago, something like that. And I'm obsessed. I want all of it. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants custom pieces with these, just email me or message me or DM me and I will happily make you a piece. What else? Um, I just finished up this ring for somebody also for Sayori, the same woman in Japan. This is a stacking ring. So it is a stone with some dots. This is a very light seafoam turquoise, but it's stacked with this piece with lace. So if I put it on my finger, um, you can see that it's got this like halo of black lace with the turquoise. It's really beautiful. Um, so I just finished that up as a custom order. Um, and then I wanted to share what we're doing for August. We've got a lot of awesome things coming. Um, if you're not on my VIP list, make sure to get on my VIP list because you're going to get an email with all of the plan for August. So August is my birthday month and I always like to do something really exciting and special, and this year is no different. Um, so we're gonna have a one of a kind release, and it's gonna be August 27th, so mark, mark your calendars, but you'll get an email about that. Um, and then we're also gonna be doing a really fun, I'm calling it a virtual happy hour art walk. Um, it's gonna be on a Facebook Live, just like I've done my releases, but I'm actually inviting some other artists. So I think they're gonna be four to six of us. I'm not really sure yet. That's gonna be August 13th. So mark your calendar for that. Um, and we'll have lots of fun giveaways and it'll just be a fun way to hang out and spend the evening. Um, for my one of a kind for August, um, I was kind of thinking about this the last few weeks. What do I wanna do for August? And um, most of you know that my mom uh, passed away in 2019, 28, oh geez, 29th, last year, in the spring of last year. So it's been just over a year. And um, her birthday is August 30th, mine is August 20th. So our birthdays are really close together and this would have been her 61st birthday this year. And um, last year I designed a collection inspired by her, which is actually these earrings I'm wearing. Her name's Nancy Anna. And so I designed this collection inspired by her and it's still on my website. Um, it sends 10% to um, the national or the local MS society. Um, and it goes straight to people living with MS like she had for basically my whole life. Um, and I was kind of thinking about what I want to do for one of a kind pieces for August. 
And I'm going to do a collection that's kind of inspired by her also, but it's gonna be a one of a kind collection. So instead of these repeatable designs, um, it's gonna be inspired by her. It's gonna have a lot of the same elements. So leaves and flowers and the just floral things. Um, she loved to be outdoors. She loved flowers. Um, so the collection will be all one of a kind pieces, but kind of with the same inspiration and the same connection since they're being released on the 27th, which would be three days before her birthday. Um, hi, Desiree. So with that collection, um, I'm gonna be using some of these stones I just got. So I just got some really beautiful um, faceted morganite, which is a beautiful light pink. It looks a little bit like rose quartz, um, if you know what rose quartz is, but it's a little bit clearer. Um, so she loved pink and she loved these beautiful, she loved all color, beautiful pastel colors and jewelry. So I'm gonna put some faceted morganite um, in this collection. And I just got this really beautiful um, African um, aqua called Chalcedony. Um, again, the color's not perfectly showing up on camera, but it's this, it's this beautiful like aqua green, um, slightly see-through with facets. So I'm gonna put some of that in the collection. Um, love the earrings, aren't you in Merced? What is Merced? I know that's your handle. What? It, where is that? I'm in Seattle. Um, is that what your question was? Let me know. Um, so I'm going to use some of that Aqua Chalcedony as well. And then I have some really beautiful Moonstone. And I know she would love um, the rainbow in this Moonstone. So I have a bunch of pieces of Moonstone. And this has, it's like, again, white, mostly clear, but with some beautiful rainbow flash. Um, so I'm going to be putting some of that in the collection and there might be some other things. Um, but I really feel every time that either the, she died in the spring when that day comes around, I really, um, I always feel like making something that's inspired by her that makes me feel close to her. Um, and that's what I feel when her birthday rolls around, you know, because we had birthdays that were so close. Um, excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's what August's collection is gonna be inspired by, by my mom, Nancy Anna. And I just wanted to share with you what I've been working on in the studio. So I'm still working out of my basement um, at home. I'm not in my actual jewelry studio, which is um, a little drive from here. I will probably be going back at the end of August because I do work with just um, myself and my assistant there. Uh, but we've kind of taken a break to both be home. And so we'll probably be going back later. Then you'll see that, I mean, the studio, this is nothing exciting behind me. Uh, the studio is really beautiful. It has beautiful light and lots of plants. Um, so I'm very excited to go back, but it has been nice w working at home um, and just kind of staying really close to home. Um, and for anybody in Seattle, I don't, I haven't had too many questions about Pike Place Market, but I just wanted to let you know that I have made the decision, at least for now, to not go back to Pike Place Market. So it's not that I won't ever go back. Um, but, you know, we are still in phase two of reopening in Seattle, and it keeps getting stepped back a little bit, you know, as things kind of ramp up again. So um, I'm not going to be going back to the market for the foreseeable future. My guess is that that will be until next year. Um, but it could be longer. I don't know. Again, we don't know what's going to happen. So um, I just want to say thank you for sticking in with me and for doing this all online. I'm going to keep having um, one of a kind releases online every month. I will keep having. Um, yeah, I think it's a smart decision, too. I don't want to I don't want to put myself in jeopardy. I don't want to put my customers in jeopardy. Um, I don't really want to sell jewelry when you can't touch it. You know, it's uh, that's it's not as fun when you can't pick it up and try it on. Um, and while the lace on my jewelry is washable and you can clean it, I also don't want to be spraying it with sanitizer every day after everybody touches it. So I just think that it is a better decision to really um, 
take the time and the space to just be online and to connect virtually. So yeah, I'm here. I will keep making things. Uh, if you want to have a private Zoom shopping day ever, reach out to me. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to send you photos. I've been doing lots of um, custom orders through text and DM. Got lots of stones and lots of ability for doing different colored of hand dyed pieces. So if you want anything, if there's something that you have been um, looking for, just reach out to me. I love, I love working on things. And um, I think it's really wonderful to be able to wear jewelry that you love right now, even while you're at home. I mean, today I uh, worked on the deck all day. I didn't work on the deck. I sat on the deck and worked on my computer doing jewelry stuff all day. And I uh, m took my boyfriend to his physical therapy appointment and sat in the car outside. Uh, and that's all I did. But I put on lipstick and earrings and a dress and it just makes me feel good. So hopefully that jewelry does that for you as well. Um, yeah, once I made the decision to not go, yes, I did feel more settled once I just decided to not go back to Pike Place, absolutely. Yep, um, I know, I assume we will go back at some point, but again, I don't wanna make any promises because I'd rather keep all of us safe. And, uh, you know, jewelry is small, it's able to be shipped and, um, you know, that will work for now. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or you want custom orders, just reach out to me, I'm here. And I'm really excited for all the things that we're gonna be making in August and for the new events and for doing some lives with some other artists as well. I think it's a really wonderful time to collaborate and to support other artists. Um, so yeah, thanks for being here. I will check in with you next Thursday. I'm gonna try and do this every Thursday. Oh, it's hard to hear me. Oh, <gasps> can you hear me now? Is that better? I think I set my phone on the microphone maybe, and so you couldn't hear it. Let me know if that's better now that I picked my phone up. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. So quick note, I'm, um, I'm streaming on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. It's much better. Okay, I set my phone, um, I set my phone on my computer but what I actually did, I have to start all over again. <laughs> um, maybe you can go to Facebook and you can watch the replay on Facebook because the sound worked on that one. Um, you could barely hear my words the whole time. I'm so sorry. I will, uh, maybe I'll go live on Instagram and do this all over again in a minute. Okay, all right, I'm gonna sign off. I may just go ahead and do this from the beginning one more time on Instagram. Um, you could hear me. Okay. Just, oh, it's noisy. Okay. There's a fan. I live with, um, this has turned into a conversation instead of a live about the studio, but that is totally fine. I live with four, three other people. There are four of us in this household and, um, all of them really like it to be kind of cold. And I really like the warmth. So there are fans on throughout the whole house and I'm like sitting on the deck in the sun, in the sun. Well, I'm in the shade most of the time, but I'm like outside in the heat and they're all like hiding out inside um, with the fans directly pointed at them. So I'm sorry if it was a little loud, there's a fan over on the other side of the room. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well also and that you're, I think you're back in Seattle, yeah? Um, okay, I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions or want to do a custom order or make something with some of this beautiful uh, blue moon turquoise, just let me know and I will see you next Thursday and I hope you have a good weekend. Okay, bye. Oh, again, can't figure out how to end the video. All right, talk to you later. Blessings to you too.